Today, we're bringing bottle flipping back with a bionic hand. Oh! And yes, I know it's no longer 2016, but we've got bionic hands now, so we're gonna do it anyway. And over the last seven years, we've been developing the ability hand to have the best performance possible. And to test it out, we're going to have one of our actual users try and do some bionic bottle flips. All right, so before we start flipping, we need to know what goes into executing the perfect water bottle flip and what makes flipping with a bionic hand so unique. Now on the surface, Water bottle flipping looks pretty straightforward, but when you get into the mechanics of it, it's actually kind of complicated. To execute the perfect water bottle flip, you need four main ingredients. A water bottle, of course, the perfect amount of water, gravity, and technique. And in order to master the technique, it helps to understand the physics of bottle flipping. So here to explain it to us is our lead mechanical engineer, James Austin. Now, bottle flipping is all about angular momentum. Super simplified, angular momentum is basically like normal or linear momentum, a moving object's tendency to stay in motion, but for something that's rotating around an axis. When you flip a bottle, that initial swing you create by holding the bottle by its cap and bringing it forward gives the bottle angular momentum. Angular momentum is equal to moment of inertia, how hard an object is to spin, multiplied by its angular velocity, how fast it spins. Without any other forces around, angular momentum remains constant. That's why an empty bottle continues to spin at the same rate until it hits the ground. However, for a bottle partially filled with water, that water will actually spread out around the bottle over the course of the spin, substantially increasing its moment of inertia. What that means is the angular velocity has to decrease in order for the angular momentum to remain constant. And if you time it right, that angular velocity will come close to zero just as the bottle's hitting the ground, meaning that it will land without falling over. With our natural hands, we impart that angular momentum primarily with a flick of the wrist. However, with most bionic hands, the hand is rigidly connected to the socket, meaning you can't flex your wrist. As a result, we have to compensate for that motion in other ways. So not only is the timing and quantity of water important to doing this trick, but also being able to do that initial swing. Imagine holding a water bottle as you were about to do a flip, right? So start swinging it back and forth. Now, if you observe what my hand has to do to grip, release, and swing the bottle, you might notice that it comes down to three things. You have to have a precise grip over the cap. You have to have a gentle touch on it and you also need to have flexibility within your joints. A precise grip is critical to bottle flipping. An overly rigid grip on the bottle is going to send it flying forward instead of creating that initial swing that you need to create that angular momentum. But if you grip it too loosely, then the bottle will just fall out. That's why precision is key. Proportional control on the hand gives you the ability to control your speed. So if you flex your muscles really fast, you'll go really fast. But if you flex them very slowly, you can get a much more precise grip on what you're trying to grab. In addition, we have pressure sensors in the fingers that cause a vibration on your skin that lets you know when you come into contact with an object, how hard you initially contacted the object, and then when you've let go of it as well. This gives you the gentle touch necessary to flip a bottle. By combining proportional control with touch feedback, you can dial in your grip strength so you know you don't end up crushing the bottle. But this doesn't solve the problem of the rigid wrist that connects the hand to the socket. In fact, most prosthetic hands have rigid fingers too, so they don't give you that flexibility that you need to do a bottle flip. The ability hand has compliant fingers that have a more natural grasp around an object. Like a natural hand, when you swing a bottle, you'll notice that your fingers flex out of the way. And so the ability hand is doing the same thing when you do a bottle flip. This flexibility is captured by our compliant fingers to enable a smooth release mid swing so that you can create the angular momentum necessary to do the bottle flip. So to test these tricks out, we made our interns do it first in the lab. Oh! 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 You did it! Let's go! That seemed to work pretty well. 
but let's see how it works on an actual user with their own muscles to control the ability hand and also having the hand attached to her body. Here to take on the challenge is Kate Kettlehone. She got the ability hand earlier this year and today she's coming in to get a new hand and do some bionic bottle flips. So before we begin, Kate, can you tell us a little bit about how you became a bionic woman? Yeah, when I was an infant, I contracted a strep A bacterial blood infection. Now people die at any age from this, but I survived and I lost my left arm, parts of my feet, and the fingertips of my right hand. Wow, and so how long have you been wearing a, a bionic hand? I've been on and off with a bionic hand since I was three. Wow, wow, and so now you're in one of our ability hands and you're ready to do this challenge? Yes, I am. Let's go. Awesome. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! We hope you enjoyed bionic bottle flipping. We're creating a bionic revolution here at Psionic. We've already expanded access to bionic hands from 10% of the US population that could afford it to 75%, but we've got such a long way to go. So please support our mission by liking our video, subscribing to our channel, and also sharing it with as many people as possible. We want to help as many people as possible who can use a bionic hand like ours. Thanks everyone.